G'day, and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I want to do a video about cold bore shift um, and go through that conversation. It's something that is, um, uh, I think, largely misunderstood um, there, and I'll go through and explain the basics of it. The, the, the proper definition of cold bore shift is um, on a rifle that is whether just cold or it's the first shot of the day or whatever it is um, in a very controlled environment where the first shot is an outlier and then the rest of the shots are in a group size that that rifle shoots. Um, and generally if it's a true cold bore shift it will be in a, and this is generally, not completely, but it will be in a particular position. It'll be one inch high and, and, and half an inch and, and more, three quarters of an inch right type thing, and the rest of the group's down here. <laughs> and that's what um, is generally referred to as cold bore shift. Um, then I suppose beyond that point, there's an inconsistent group where it can be all over the place, where it can be all, anywhere around the place, and then you'll get it, then you'll get your group as you're going. Um, but I suppose that's, there's a lot to unpack there. Very few people actually test that and do that properly and figure it out. There's a lot of people who talk about it, but it also can be the excuse for the first shot being not in the group and, and sometimes just one flyer and then that was the Cold War shift sort of thing. There's all sorts of ways it gets used. But I suppose I wanted to explain a couple of things about it. To start off with, Cold War shift, um, we're talking about the Cold War thing and the Cold War phenomenon. Um, it's not about temperature to start off with. The normal thought is it's the first shot and then the rifle warms up and then, then it starts to shoot normally. Listen, no, it's, it's not about temperature because it doesn't not happen in the summertime and does happen in the wintertime. Um, it's about the first shot. And temperature, listen, I dare as I say it, it has very, very little to do with temperature. It has to do with the first impact. It has the first, with, or first, um, firing so that first going bang so that first time it goes bang everything in that action gets shocked into a place that it wasn't where it had relaxed from it gets shocked into that place of course when you rack and put it back in you could say okay it's back to there but there's still something that happens to that process the first time it goes bang that that barrel that rifling and that the inner that inside of that barrel had whether it, was, whether it was, it won't have been thoroughly cleaned, that's a different conversation. If you thoroughly cleaned it and got to refoul it, well, okay, that's not what we're talking about. This is, a, this is a barrel that was shot the other day and it shot dead smack on here. And then this first shot has to run down there. So that whatever was left in there, whether it was a gentle white that it had in between, whether it was nothing, but there's a little bit of moisture, there's a little bit of oxidation, there's, whole, there's a whole barrel of fresh air that's in front of the projector. All these things are different to just after you fire that projectile. All those things change just after those, you fire those projectile. Projectile much more than the temperature. You may think yes, there's a lot of temperature, but it's not there for very long, and it's steel. It doesn't warm up very quickly. So, temperature's got very little to do with it. That actions that 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 bullet blasting down there, those gases blasting down there, is going to have more to do with it. It may be to do with how the action is in the, um, in, the, in the stock or in the chassis. Maybe that it relaxes and it gets pushed back against everything on the first time around, and that's what's going on. These are all possible things, all testable things in some fashions, but the, the, the other detail that has to happen is the process of shooting. It's the first shot for the shooter. So everything gets set back to them as well. Certainly, in the way we do our shooting, we work on a bag, an adjustable reel bag base with a bag, bipod, all the rest of it. One of the tricks to getting the best shot the first time around is to compress the bag already. Make sure it's properly compressed. Make sure the, the rifle's sitting. Make sure everything's in that groove to start off with. That is an important detail, and that may be part of what's going on. That is also a testable part of things. The, the, all those features have something to do with it. The, the other side of things, which is the more common side of things, that first shot, um, and unless it's just a set 100 yard group, that's probably the maximum you can get to at that point, um, and the conditions are very much stable on that side of things, 
then the, the, the format, the, the shooter is one of the big ingredients here, how they deal with that side of things. So I would say to, to go through with the cold bore shift, um, all those things to be kept in mind with your zeroing and what you're doing. The main thing that I feel it's an issue is, well, I suppose what I would say in a different way, saying it for the likes of target shooters, when you go out and do your work and, and, and there's, there's basically for the, I suppose, true target shooters, the F class and that sort of stuff, that each day they start with a clean barrel and they've got to go and foul their rifle anyway, it's not a concern. They're just shooting away, that's how it is. So that, that's how it is for the likes of what we do, go out, the, go out and do our long one, even in a long one, when we've only got a, potentially a minute of difference at our first shot, a minute, it would be really good to get within, it is amazingly good to get within a minute of the target anyway when you're shooting ELR because the conditions are the bit that have a lot more control than that. That's where we really got to figure out by the conditions that you can only read a small percentage of. The main place that this matters is for the servicemen and women and for the hunter that knowing where that rifle actually shoots to. And in that situation, if you have a consistent cold bore side of things, then you need to be zeroing to your consistent where that rifle really shoots. Your zero should be about where you're actually setting a rifle up to aim is wherever that rifle shoots on the first shot. So, and if you don't know that's the case or want to know how to prove that's the case, then you go through the process of testing exactly that. That rifle gets that one shot is the one you have to zero to. That, that, that first shot. And then whether it's 20 shots that day or it's only one shot, and I would, I would, when I have done that, and I don't often do it, then I will do one shot and, well, I'll zero the rifle, do my normal process. Then I will do the next day or the next week, I'll take it out and do one shot and wear it, see it where it is see where it is and then I'll do the same thing the next day or the next week until I know where that rifle is that it's on there and if I can't get that first shot right something else is going on then I've got to do work with a rifle that's happened once to me before but it's not something I, I've put a lot of time into it's not how my shooting largely works but I suppose I finish off with the the cold boy shift is a real thing it is a phenomenon that some rifles um, suffer or uh, 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 they perform like that. For most of us, we don't need to worry about it. You know, with uh, the likes of a pest control rifle I do, the way I do, one of the things I do for a rifle, a little 22 that does that all the time, its first shot will always be a little bit off, is I, one, I run one shot previously, and then I know it's smack on. Or my first shot is well inside. My first shot is a shorter shot because the long shot is, got, is going to be a little bit out. Once it's had one shot for that day, it's on. Then it pegs away really nice, but it does do that. One of my pest control rifles does that. Lots of different ways to manage it. This comes into whether it's zeroing your rifle or it's cleaning your rifle or it's, or it's checking over the problems with the rifle. We have videos on all that sort of stuff to try and make sense of it, but yes, it's real. Very little to do with temperature, much more to do with the first shot and all the ingredients that are involved with that. What's in the barrel, what's, what the action is working like, what the action of the rifle is to the chassis is working like, what the shooter works like, all those details. And that doesn't even get into the moment you've got any distance in your shot and that first shot's actually working out what the weather's doing because there isn't any magic to tell you that. The bullet's the only true thing to tell you what's actually going on. Um, so you need to trust things, you need to read that quickly. Anyway, that's um, enough of that one there. I hope that makes some sense. Thanks very much, and we'll catch you next time.